46 foreign nationals were arrested in raids overnight on Tuesday. Now, according to local immigration staff, these were 43 Chinese nationals, two Indian and one American. They were arrested in the central region, which is about two hours' drive northwest of the capital, Accra. A little while ago, I spoke to a senior official from the central region who oversaw Tuesday's raid. He said that police were acting on intelligence that these men were conducting illegal mining in the area. He also said police found a small quantity of illegal drugs on some of the men. Now, they are currently being detained. Chinese embassy staff who visited the men say they were calm, in good physical condition, and they called on the Ghanaian authorities to respect their legitimate human rights. It remains to be seen what they will be charged with, if they will be prosecuted here or sent back to China. Recent history suggests that the latter is more likely. Since June, 600 Chinese nationals have been sent home. These were people the Ghanaian government accused of illegally mining. Now, this really is something that Ghanaian authorities have been trying to clamp down on. According to the Minerals Commission, small-scale illegal mining is simply an environmental disaster for Ghana. It produces uh, unregulated deforestation, and the mercury used in some of these small-scale operations is polluting rivers. Now, although Ghana has stressed it will do everything to safeguard the rights of those Chinese who are legitimately working in the country, of which there are thousands, it says it will continue its fight against illegal mining. It will continue to do so with force if necessary.